So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a graph question. So let's take a look at this question and see how we use the graph to help us answer it. So the question says the complete graph of the function f is shown in the xy plane. So we obviously see this graph here. The next sentence says, what is the y-intercept of the graph of y equals f of x plus 2? So what is this plus 2, right? This is the only difference between y equals f of x, which we saw here, right? And what, we've, what we're what we being asked about. So the plus 2 obviously has some significance. That plus 2 shifts our graph, right, to the left, two units. So there's a, and I'll write it over here, y equals f of x plus 2. We get a two-unit left shift. If this had a negative two, it'd be two units to the right, right? So maybe you've heard this as insiders lie, just meaning whatever number is added into the parentheses of a function will shift that function to the left or right, depending upon the sign, but it's going to be in the direction, like the opposite direction of what you would expect, right? Instead of positive going along with shifting to the right, it instead lies, right? An insider lie. It shifts it to the left. So we're going to shift our graph to the left two units. I'm just going to choose some points and, and make, uh, make their corresponding points two units to the left. And then hopefully when I graph this out, you'll be able to see where these points came from. So it looks like I'd have here, there, here, here, and here. So hopefully you can see that all those points are basically just the black line just shifted over to the left two units. So because we're looking for the y-intercept, that is here, middle, that's one, two, and three. So the y-intercept is at positive 3, which makes answer choice A the correct answer.